Always low, low prices at Pahrumpf Valley Auto Plaza. Good afternoon. My name is Julie Butler, and I'm the director of the Nevada Department of Motor Vehicles. And I'm excited to announce that we will be reopening our offices to the public on Monday, June 15th. It's taken a lot of work to get to this point, and my staff have done a tremendous job making sure our offices are clean and sanitized and ready for the safe re-entry of the public. Please do not rush down to our offices first thing on June 15th, as we will be prioritizing customers with the most urgent needs first. Folks with the most urgent needs include individuals whose driver's licenses have been suspended, people who do not have any form of identification at all, and individuals who've purchased vehicles from third parties and have not been able to register those cars. We will be also serving customers with disabilities and those preparing to enlist in the military or going on deployment and needing uh, special needing identification. So again, if you do not fall into one of those priority groups, the department and the governor has granted a 90-day extension on most DMV documents and we're going to ask that you wait. If you do have to come to the office, we ask that you go online at dmvnv.com to learn the types of documents that you will need to bring to the office to make sure that your visit is successful on your first visit. We have introduced a couple of new services while our offices have been closed and we're excited to share to the public. The first is called Mobile Ticket, which will allow us to send you a text message as your time in line approaches and that way if you have a long wait time, it will allow you to leave the office and be able to come back as your time approaches to be seen by a technician. The other exciting service that we've rolled out is that our portal has now changed and those without social security numbers can now open a My DMV portal account to have access to the full range of DMV online services. This will allow those customers without social security numbers to request duplicate driver's licenses online, to change their addresses, or to change their insurance information. We're very excited to announce those services. So finally, in closing, we ask that our customers do three things upon our reopening. We ask that you first go online at dmvnv.com to determine if your transaction can be done online. Second, we ask that you look to see if your transaction can wait. Again, many services can wait, such as if you're requesting personalized license plates or you just need to upgrade your identification from a standard ID to a real ID. And finally, if you do have to come to an office, we ask that you're, you be prepared. Please go online and look at the types of documents that you will need to make your visit a success on the first try. Thank you, and we look forward to serving you on Monday, June 15th.